Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Rapid Resizer and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a spirit animal painting using the picture stencil maker. So what I'm going to do is start by clicking on the picture stencil maker on rapidresizer.com and I'm going to upload a photo of a bald eagle. And you can see that it's turned my photo into a line drawing. So there's a couple different styles you can choose from. I'm going to go with threshold. I'm just going to drag it to make it a little bit whiter. Um, I don't want it to be too light. Okay. So this looks good. I'm going to go and customize my stencil now. And I'd like my image to be completely horizontal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate my stencil. Oh, and it's already done that for me. So that's perfect. I'm going to do that. And it's already suggested that I crop my image so I'm going to do that as well. So now uh, to save ink and to make this easier for the project that I'm doing I'm going to be tracing my stencil. I'm going to click on change to line drawing. And what this does is it just makes it a lot easier to trace your design by outlining the white parts. Um, it looks a little distorted right now but it'll make more sense when I trace it. Um, it also helps to save a lot of ink um, versus printing my previous design that had a lot of black areas in it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that change and finally I'm going to, I'd like my image to be Print it horizontally like this, um, but I want it to fit the page, so I'm going to make it about 20 inches so it fits across two sheets of paper. So this is my design. I'm now going to print. And I'm just going to show you guys the PDF file that will be going through the printer. So it'll give you two sheets like this. And now I'm going to print this. So now that I've printed my stencil, I'm going to be using a tracing method that I've used in a previous tutorial, um, which is just tracing it on the window. It's the easiest way. Um, it doesn't require much other than a pencil. So I've just put my stencil underneath my watercolor paper that I've taped together and I'm just going to trace. Now that I've traced it, I'm going to start filling in my design with my watercolors and I'm just going to start by starting with one layer and then building the color up over top. I find this is the best uh, method for watercolors. Um, it builds more depth with the color and it's uh, more forgiving if you're making any mistakes. So I'm going to be using some black, blue, greeny colors to kind of make it look like the night sky. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my design going around the white parts that I've traced in my line drawing. So now that I have finished filling in my painting in my stencil. The final step for this project is uh, adding the stars to the night sky. So what I'm going to do is I found it's easiest to use a toothpick. I'm just going to get a toothpick and dip it in white paint and then go ahead and just dot, add dots all over my painting. Um, you can really just go Go in with these dots, the more the better. Um, different sizes tend to look pretty 
And this is my spirit animal painting tutorial project. Um, if you guys have any questions about this craft or the software, uh, please feel free to leave comments below and like this video if you found it helpful or if it's something that you'd like to try. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm always posting new craft tutorials and f don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thanks guys!